Hello everyone, it's James from Keeping It Anime and today I've got my review for We Never Learn Manga Chapter 100. Now, I know, I know, I did say in my update video that I would try and get it out on the day and I thought the day was Monday and then I realised it was Friday and then I was busy Monday night so I couldn't record it and now it's Wednesday as of recording this video um, but, you know, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about chapter 100 of We Never Learn. Now, here's the dilemma I've got. I'm a little bit disappointed by this chapter. Because we've had some fantastic, brilliant chapters leading up to this 100th chapter. And most of the time, with manga, the authors like to celebrate the 100th chapter. And I don't know what's happened behind the scenes, if they were told they weren't allowed to do a colour spread or an image or anything like that, but I didn't see any when I read this chapter. Um, and if you're a Kirisu fan, I think I'm pronouncing the name correctly, the teacher, um, then you're going to love this chapter. It's a chapter based on her. However, the problem I've got with this chapter, realistically, is that it's a bit too predictable. Okay, so the basis of this chapter. Miss Kirisu does a video interview and it gets massive popularity because someone on their version of YouTube decides to make a video of her when she was figure skating to now being a teacher and her house is being swarmed by fans. Yuiga helps her out, gives her a disguise and takes her out on a date. And this part of the chapter wasn't too bad. It was enjoyable to read. It was nice to see Kirisu in like normal clothes and not a tracksuit or school uniform. Like, the design they gave her for this chapter was actually really nice. It did remind me a little bit of Rizu, um, Sabirance, but again, it was a nice sort of new visual for that character. And the whole fact that she'd never been out with friends was kind of weird, but judging by her backstory, then it's understandable a little bit. So, she basically goes bowling, goes for food, and then they're sitting on a bank. Um, I mean, it was comedic for the most part because there was like a panel, if I remember correctly, where she um, playing bowling. She's like, I've never done this before, and Yuiga's like, Well, you're hitting 300. Um, you know, beginner's luck. But then the chapter ends with the reveal that Kirisu has gotten an offer for figure skating. Now, if she accepts the offer, because this is the problem that I've got with the chapter, making it predictable. Now, if she accepts the offer, she basically is accepting being written out of the show. Series. Whatever you want to call it. And the mangaka will not do that. Because if you look at the popularity contest from last year, Miss Kirisu topped the Japanese and the English character poll. So she is a fan favourite character. Whether or not her opinions of her have changed, I'm not a huge fan of the character personally. Um, you all know that I'm a Koenami fan through and through of this series. And I like the chapters that she's in, but if she accepts this figure skating sort of thing, then, like I said, her character is pretty much written out of the show. So, that will annoy a lot of people, leading to the fact that what I reckon personally will happen, and this is a slight prediction, is that she'll probably accept it, but then something will happen where she decides to go, you know what, no, I want to be a teacher for now on, I'm coming back. and. That would be okay, but to me, she seems like she's good at her job, but she's also quite lazy, considering the way her apartment is. And being a figure skater is pretty much quite a heavy task job. You know, it involves a lot of effort, from what I can tell. I'm not a figure skater, so I wouldn't know. If you are, then let me know, but you know. And I don't see a character being enthusiastic to do that anymore. Like she says at the end of the chapter, she doesn't know what she wants to do. She asks Yuiga for help. 
because she's still questioning about not taking the VIP recommendation and a good line from Eureka in this chapter does occur and that is it's better to um, something along the lines of it's better to try um, and then find out if it was a bad decision afterwards than to never try at all and that was actually a really good message to have these chapters do actually have good messages behind them and it's actually quite fun to read the chapter and see if I can find that message but yeah, um, this chapter, if I had to rate it out of 10, I'll give it a 6. It wasn't a brilliant chapter for me. It had some good funny moments and some good character designs. But all in all, it's a little bit predictable for the future. And as chapter 100, I found it underwhelming. But let me know what you guys thought of this chapter down in the comments below. Did you enjoy it? Um, what do you think is going to happen to Miss Kirisu at the... Uh, in the chapters to come because this looks like a start of a new arc for her character and you know if we take away from Yuiga from a little bit and just follow her for a bit I'm okay with it as long as it's reasonable and you know it's not too long but that's all I've got to say for this review like smash that like button if you like the video dislike the video if you dislike the video subscribe if you're new so you never miss a video from me and until next time, my name's James Downton, keep it anime guys.